Hi, you're very welcome. And in this video, what I just want to show you is how I answered a question that I got from um, one of my readers, which is about how to create a unique ID using the first and last number, first name and a surname plus a random number. Right. So just what the first thing you need to do is just generate a set of random numbers. So I use that by using a function called rand between. Double click. And let's say I want to start with 100. And let's say 5000 is the top one. Press enter. And then I just copy that down to drag it down now. My list of entries here. Now, the one thing you need to bear in mind is that this is what they call a volatile function. So it means if I close this and next time I open it, it will generate another set of random numbers, which isn't what I want. So what I need to do at this point is I need to convert these to values. Here to copy, paste, and then paste values. Okay, so you see in situ I've generated my set of random numbers. Now I'm then going to go ahead and create um, use the text function called left to extract the first letter of the first name. Right. Just bear in mind, if you're doing this, the more granular and broken down you have this done, the easier it's going to be. So I go equals left, click here, click this one, go comma and then one because I just want the first letter. And that's it there. D for Joanna Button. First name last equals right this time. And go over here to this one again, comma one. I just want the last letter, this one. And then surname first equals, um, again, it's going to be a uh, little. Do I know my left, my right? Yes, I do. I hope so. Left. This one, surname, comma one, because I just want the first letter. And then surname last equals, our right again, go over to my surname, comma one. And then close my brackets and press enter. Now, once I've got all these done, all right, and then I'm going to combine them to my new unique ID. And then I use that by going equals this, then ampersand this, ampersand this one, ampersand this one, ampersand this one. Press enter. So I now have my unique ID created. And then I'm just going to Highlight here, double click to copy it down. Click here, double click to copy it down. Right. And the other thing I want to just check then is that it's unique. So I just go up to, to conditional formatting, highlight cells rules, duplicate values, and click OK. And you can see there, there are no duplicates in that. So that essentially is how you would create that unique ID just using that combination of formulas. Of course, what you could do is that you could actually just have that all in one cell. That's another possibility. But I kind of think, particularly when you're doing this in the beginning, the more kind of broken down you have it, the easier it is to see if you have any um, difficulties or anything else, easier to troubleshoot it. Okay. Hope you find this useful. Take care. Bye.